focus on all the people who have trouble I mean specifically I use butterflies adhesive rubber protector film number three and I like it because it's sticky and it may not be the right one for you but I always end up with these air pockets or air bubbles underneath the film and at least with my OCD it doesn't work for me I'm always trying to pop them out or get rid of them and it can be quite annoying because when I'm leaving the gym and I'm done with my table tennis session for the day I just want to get out and if I'm being super lazy I'll just kind of throw it on and that's it but I'm gonna show you a quick way to apply the adhesive film without leaving any bubbles whatsoever for all the table tennis junkies out there that love to protect your table tennis rubber you might find this helpful it may not be the best for you but it works for me I use Dignix 09C and uh, Dignix 05 on the back end those are both pretty sticky rubbers especially the Dignix 09C so I like to keep the tackiness on there and keep it as tacky as possible for example any of those of you who use uh DHS Hurricane 3. I can't imagine you not using any kind of protection film like this to uh, keep your rubber sticky. Also, if you're left with air pockets while using this protective film, I think it kind of defeats the purpose because you don't want any air pockets whatsoever. You don't want any potential oxidation of the rubber. You want to keep it sticky. Obviously, it keeps your rubber clean and prevents dust from getting on it. So that's a benefit of using adhesive uh, sticky films, or they don't have to be sticky. Oh. Sticky may not work for you. Some people don't like the sticky ones. They don't like the sticky ones because they're hard to keep clean. The actual films themselves, they attract dust. But what I do is, let me see if I have a... So when I'm ready to start my table tennis session, I have to peel off this sticky adhesive film. And a lot of people complain that because it's sticky, it attracts dust. And how do you store it? What do you do? Well, it's super simple. What I do is peel it off and I just kind of sandwich the two together like so and that's it I put it away inside my table tennis case which helps with any dust particles that might get around the edge and that's it and I get to playing some table tennis now another complaint of adhesive rubber film that is sticky is that maybe it leaves a residue on the rubber that's not true. It never leaves residue on the rubber. I think it's the best one for tacky rubbers especially. Um, if you guys use something different, if you guys use a non-tacky adhesive film. Uh, let me know in the comments below why you choose a non-tacky version versus a tacky version. I don't think I've ever used a non-tacky version, but uh, this is the one that's always worked good for me, so I've stuck with it. I don't know uh, what other ones are out there that um, aren't sticky. I think there's, there's a few by Butterfly. How do we get rid of air bubbles or air pockets that get underneath the sticky film or adhesive film rather in between your table tennis bat? And I mainly have that trouble with this particular brand. Which is my favorite Butterfly's adhesive rubber protection film number three. So how do we get rid of those bubbles efficiently, fast, so you don't have to sit there and pop them all day when you're just trying to get out of the gym after a real good table tennis session?
Now to all the table tennis junkies out there, if you like this type of content, I post a lot of table tennis videos on my channel because I absolutely love this sport. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for future content. It will really help my channel out a lot. And there's a few other videos you can check out, like this one right here, right here, down there, and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for future content. And check out, check out my other video right here, or right here.